Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about grids in Inkscape. First you want to go into File or Select File down to Document Properties and then of course I already have grid selected because I looked at it. And uh, Anyway so if you're on page you want to go to Grids and a lot of people are going to be wanting to select the type of grid which would be a rectangular grid. Um, then after you have that selected, you hit New, or click New. And then you just uh, use whatever you want. Of course, I use the Bezier tool usually. And uh, when you click on any point in here, as long as you have the Snap to Visible Grid Lines, um, it will, even if I try to go in the middle, it'll select the vertex that supposedly I guess would be closest to where you're clicking. And you can use it however you want. Now, you can change the spacing in the X direction and the Y direction, or the Y, the y direction and the X direction. Uh, you can move the origin you can change the pixels. Um, you can show the dots instead of lines. And it looks like you can change the color. Huh? So I don't really use this that much, but it's there if you want it. Now, if you also want to do, you use this axonometric grid. Let's get rid of this. You can change the the degrees here. You see the lines that go diagonally. I'll change that to well, forty-five. For symmetry, we'll go with 45 on that too. And then click somewhere on here. Let's zoom in a little. So if anyone is, I guess it might be the old kind of drafting. <laughs> now they use just AutoCAD. But you're going to. You can uh, do isometric drawings. So anyway, there you have it. Now there's a lot of other items on here in, this, in the document properties that you can play with. I might talk about each one of these eventually, but I wanted to uh, talk about grids today. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.